Hey, you guys, look what's coming up right here. That's some rhubarb. We are out in the garden on a beautiful day. You know, we're all kind of closed in the house, so why not get out and make the most of these nice days? I'm out cleaning up my flower beds. It's a great time to do that. Just rake it all out of there, all the dead material. And now that you've done that, it's a great time to fertilize. Now, I've got a bunch of different plants here. I've got rhubarb, I've got a rose, I've got a peach tree, I've got a blueberry bush. All of those um, can require kind of different fertilizers, so just look online as to what uh, various plants like. Fertilize them, throw some mulch down, you'll be ready to go. Now, the garden centers are open. They are considered essential businesses because of the landscapers um, that are still working. But some of them have close to foot traffic. However, they're doing things online and you can order your mulch and your fertilizer, whatever you need, plants, and you can go pick them up curbside. And as soon as you can work the ground, you can plant things like trees and shrubs. You can't plant vegetables yet. We're gonna talk about that in a second. The lawn, I don't know about yours, check out mine. I still have a ton of snow, but the lawn that is emerging clearly needs some help. Look at all that dead thatch in there. So we're going to rake that up as best we can until we get some, we get some nice ground showing through. Now is a great time to fertilize your lawn. It will thank you. I'm surrounded by uh, pine trees, so I need a lot of lime. That offsets the acidity of the pine needles. Uh, some people don't need that. Best thing to do, take a soil sample, send it to the Cooperative Extension. The nurseries have those little sample boxes for you. Super easy to do, and then you'll know exactly what you need to put down. All right, guys, we've moved to the vegetable gardens. I have some raised beds here. It is too early to plant. Don't try to plant vegetables yet way too early, but you can get the soil ready by mixing a bunch of compost into that soil. Look, you can even see I have my my old tags from what I planted la last year, which I leave here on purpose because you want to rotate your crops every year because they pull different nutrients from the soil. You don't want to exhaust those nutrients. So by rotating them, you don't do that. Also by composting, you're giving them more nutrients in that soil so that you're ready when you do get to plant. So just mix it in, mix a good amount of compost into your soil, take a spade, get it in there really good. Um, come Patriot's Day, you can start thinking about planting your crops that can deal with cold weather, those being peas and carrots and broccoli and cauliflower. Spinach is actually pretty hardy as well. But until then, just get the soil ready here. You know what you can plant right now though? Pansies. So they are everywhere at the garden centers. Now some are hardened off, some are not. So be sure to ask. If they are not hardened off, that means you're going to have to bring them inside in those pots uh, on colder nights. If they are hardened off, they should be ready to go to be left outside. But there are some things that you can at least start now indoors. So let's talk about that. I love these little things. They're super cheap. I like the bigger ones over the little ones. What you want for soil is a seed starting mix. Don't do a slow release fertilizer. That's not good for this particular instance. So the tomatoes, you can start early. They take 60 to 80 days to, to uh, bloom anyway. So you're gonna want them six to eight weeks before you can plant outside. You can also do herbs. They also take quite a little while to uh, germinate and really get going so you can start those inside now if you want um, spinach and lettuce that you can just harvest right from these from your windowsill you can grow those as well those grow really really quickly no need to put them outside if you don't want to you can just do it right there so I'm gonna moist, moisten this soil and just ignore my mic cord that's what that is I'm gonna moisten this soil just a little bit for planting and then you're gonna put a couple of seeds per pod super easy and then cover it cover it with more of that soil now you don't have to put it in a window right away but what it does need is a dome to trap that humidity this particular set didn't come with a dome but you can fashion one out of cellophane or something like that once they start to germinate that'll happen within a week or so then you're going to want to move it to sun and you can take that dome that you've fashioned off and just make sure to keep them moist right got to do that the other thing I like to do is I love bulbs. I love these caladiums and the dahlias and things like that. Those I can pot now, but they are not hardened off. Again, like with the pansies, you gotta make sure they get hardened off. You're gonna have to bring them in and out until it gets nice and warm inside. For this, you can use something like a miracle Grow or a slow release fertilizer that'll just make them that much bigger. You're gonna plant them about three times the size of the bulb deep into the soil, keep them moist. And I got a lot of work to do. I hope you guys have fun with this.